Well, hello, a long time no see. I know it's been a minute. Um, I definitely um, originally planned to have had like five or six more videos out by now, but things happened with the footage, they got lost, and here we are a whole year later trying to make it seem like I was consistent, okay? Um, so we're obviously back in another bathroom. We're back at it again. I'm going to give you live. You know, this is free. You're welcome again. Um, so uh, my aunt is loving enough to choose me to be the one to do her makeover for her bathroom. This one is going to be a lot more extreme than mine was because mine was an apartment and it was just um, just pretty much just decorating, just painting or whatever. This one, as you can see by the walls, it's a lot more that's going to have to be done. But that's okay. We're going to get her right on together. We're going to give her a facelift. And she's going to go out into the world and be fierce. And that's just that. Um, no one knows pretty much what envision I have for it. So it's going to be a complete surprise for everybody that's going to watch the video. And just watch it just like you. And just be very shocked. Um, I hope you like my outfit. I wanted to be like the girl like this when she was like this from uh, the Great Depression where the women had to stop. That's beside the point. But um, yes, I want to get very cute because the last one, I, I look like this bathroom look right now. But that's okay because I got a makeover. I got a makeover. I did. And you're welcome for that. And so I, I want to go ahead and get started because there's so much that has to be done. And um, we're just going to do this thing. Okay, and I got several cameras, so excuse me if I'm not looking at one or the other. I want to make sure I get as much footage as possible because this, this stuff be going missing. But anyways, that's beside the point. I feel like I'm on TV and I'm like, camera two, <laughs> camera one. <laughs> Thank you. Back to you. <laughs> anyways, okay. <laughs> Battery, 90%. back at it again um, if you notice me sniffing throughout this just don't mind it after all this dust and paint fumes and stuff I am literally experiencing COVID symptoms it's real so wear your mask people wear your mask um, <clears throat> y'all seem to have thought I was very funny last time so I hope you feel that same energy this time um, like for example this note that I'm about to hit right here <laughs> I know these videos can seem like work and I want it to be um, a little more fun um, last before we get actually started um, with I, sh I have gloves but for some reason I never put them on had I put them on maybe I wouldn't have got so much paint and um, experienced so much pain as you can see here I was trying to sh shave that off and I accidentally bit my god darn nail back Uh, this is a 220 grit sandpaper that I'm going in to sand all of those places that are um, torn drywall. Um, first things first, of course, you have to shave off, which is what I was doing first, the loose paper that's left over, um, and that was the scraping motion I was doing before I hit my nail. Um, now, every place where the drywall has been torn, you want to sand that down to get it as smooth as you possibly can. I asked my aunt for an air filter, and that's what she gave me. Period, point blank. Anyways, um, so yeah, just sanding it down as, to as smooth of a surface as we can get it. Basically, you can't just go ahead and paint over this. You see how much dust is being collected. All on my hair. Um, I had highlights by the time I finished this, but I keep getting sidetracked. I'm sorry, y'all. I got ADHD. Um, yes, you can't just paint over these spots because basically it causes really bad bubbling. So you want to get that shellac primer right there and go over every spot that the drywall has been torn. Otherwise, um, once you put that paint on there, it'll just bubble right off and all your hard work is just, you know, gone. Tell you, this does smell like booty and 
like Sharpie. Booty and Sharpie. <laughs> I ended up having to get a second can of this, but um, you gotta get out in those nooks and crannies under where that original dry wallpaper was and all that wallpapers left, all that great stuff, because we don't want any bubbling or any issues with that. This is the spackle that I'm using. I like, well, I chose it because it goes on pink, but it dries white. This is my first time ever using spackle, so I need all the help I can get. Um, I will say I wouldn't, not want one that's as thick as this one is because it was like almost play-doh and texture wise and that was very 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 hard to like press down run over and shake together my spirit was very weary after i finished this process and mind you i'm right-handed and so everything i'm pretty much doing i'm doing with my right hand which almost made me amputee by the end of this process but anyways so this is my first time using spackle so of course my uh, first attempt was not going to be perfection, but I did a pretty darn good job, okay? Anyways, you can literally see it drying as I go and do more spots. I tried to get it as smooth as I possibly could. And of course, all those little lines and ridges that you see will be sanded off once it dries. Going in everywhere where that drywall has been torn and just filling in those spots, filling in all those little holes where stuff has been drilled in the wall, just so we can have a smooth surface work with and of course um, I'm going to put some peeling sticks somewhere it wouldn't be a modern makeover if I didn't these are actually from Dollar Tree and I love Dollar Tree Dollar Tree is like one of the best places in America and so um, she liked my peeling stick so I had to put her somewhere in there this was originally a window but they added on to the house and so I thought it would go perfect here and they could add in some shelving there they could do you know, pretty much anything with that little area. But personally, I would add shelving to make it like a little, what is it, a, a, a candy? I think it's called. I'm taking off all the little knobs and stuff here so I can spray paint them later, as well as that mirror. It's all gonna be a nice matte chocolate brown. Cause you can't go wrong with chocolate, baby. And that's the truth. You have now reached your destination. All you need, all you need is some. 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 This is to everyone who uh, liked my last video. I made it to 61 thousand views a year ago last month 2100 likes 273 comments and 594 subscribers thank y'all so 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 much back to the video um as i said i was going to spray paint those knobs i also spray painted the doorknob as well as the light fixture and um i originally was just going to do the mirror the cabinets and this little pantry here chocolate brown but i didn't even have enough for the pantry so she ended up having to go get more and, and the first day i wore one mask this here is the second day i have on three because the struggle was real like the paint got up my nose in my mouth i don't know how it got through all these masks but um, to sand the drywall, I have a hundred grit sandpaper, and I'm so sorry. I know I started this video off so cute, but I, I did get a bag that matched the red. I tried to, you know, be consistent, but um, I I didn't want any extra highlights on my hair. And wash day was not a, it was a week away, so I was trying to make it work. Anyways, I have to basically go and sand everywhere I put drywall just to smooth out those. Um, edges any lines or whatever that you might see i'll zoom in a little closer here just so you can see me smooth the surface you can see all that dust coming down just as much of that drywall like soot that was everywhere is this is just as much it was really like snow in the background and i was dying but i made it through like shirley bassey continuing on um, at this point, my right thumbprint has completely been sanded off, so I could really go commit a crime if I wanted to. Not going to, but I'm just saying. I tried to switch to my left hand, but 
I'm just, I'm right-handed. I can't, I can't, I can't change that. I'm not Amber and I'm not Dexter, and so there's no way I could be Amber Dexterous. Going from wall to wall by hand is not recommended. I personally probably won't really ever want to do this again. I would just spend the dollar and get the machine because this was just too much work. Absolutely too much work. I, I can I can barely make a fist at this point. But um, yeah, pushing on, yeah, trying. I had to spray paint those um, fixture covers like seven times because I kept getting this sanding dust on them. I'm moving them from spot to spot and I keep getting the dust on them. Like, I don't know why. At this point, I don't think my brain is processing life. It's just like autopilot mode. And I, it, just in case nobody says it in the comments, I'm thick in this, in this jumpsuit. Like, I gained five pounds in these two days. I don't know how all this work I gained weight, but thick, thick, okay? Anyway, moving forward. Um, I'm, I've never been so glad to clean in my life. I was so ready for this chaos to make sense. And so, of course, everything is going in this trash can. Dust, 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 dust. Um, I had to sweep thoroughly, and of course you had to dust the walls because some of the sand sticks to it and you don't want to try to paint and there's sand all over the wall. Maybe I swept and vacuumed and mopped, of course, because I don't want anything to be stopping these tiles from sticking to the floor. And that Bluetooth speaker has been through it just as I have, but that's okay, it's a part of the process. All you need is You have now reached your destination. All you need. And this took way longer than it looks like it took. It looks like it took, you know, a quick little one day. No, it was two days, which two days still make it seem like it went by fast. No, baby. This took forever. I thought I was never going to finish. And it was just two days. Um, of course, with painting, I always do the trim first. Uh, try to do two coats of the trim and then start with the painting. Typically I don't wait for the trim because it dries pretty fast. So I typically do the whole wall and then just start back where I originally started. And that section typically is already dry by the time I get back to it. And so yeah, two coats of trim. I love this pistachio green. It didn't say pistachio green on the card, but I'm gonna call it pistachio green because it's pistachio in my eyes. Both the colors I picked were a little, obviously a shade or two darker than what I originally wanted. I would have liked a lighter pistachio green, but um, it always dries darker. I don't know how, how, long, how much longer it's going to take me to realize that. Same thing with the beige that I tried to get. It was a little darker than I wanted, so it kind of looked like peanut butter, but this is the paint I used. We're going to make it work, okay, because who's going back to the store? And it looked good. Regardless, of course, um, the colors were chosen because originally she wanted her shower towels to be white, but I, that was not something that I could do. And so we made the colors, well, I chose the colors to go around the towels that she already had. And so this was pretty close to the colors of her shower towels. It was a little uh, darker. But um, that was why I chose it. I chose the colors based around those towels because nobody was going to pay to get those repainted. And so, um, pistachio and peanut butter. That's what we're going with, okay? The color of the day is pistachio and peanut butter. On the high we say pistachio, on the low we say peanut butter. How you doing? Okay. And so, um, at this point I am rejoicing because this is like the final, what's the, um, how do you say it? The final swing? It's a sport reference, which is why I'm not gonna get it. Um, and it's like I started to get a headache because of the constant fumes. Um, I know you probably like, well, you ain't got a mask on right now, sis. What happened was, I ain't got no excuse for you. I had three masks on at one point, and it was not helping. See, the masks are back on. I got a headache. I'm nauseous. Um, my nose was bleeding. This sounds probably like TMI, but it's the truth. And I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe I needed a... a ventilation mask or something but the struggle was so realistic I can't even convey that to you um, of 
course, I did go back and fix that trim on that ceiling, but I did not record that because the battery was low, and she was over it. She was ready to go. Okay? But, um, what's next? I don't even know what's next on this voiceover. This is usually my favorite part. Oh, yes, of course, you gotta clean as much as you can with the energy you got left. You'll notice the difference in my face expression. I started off so happy and smiling. Like, my hair was cute. Baby, by the time I finished, I looked like the mom off the holiday. Um, bless her! Bless her! Very much so that. If you don't know what that is, bless you. Um, peel and stick, uh, not peel and stick, yeah, peel and stick flooring uh, from Walmart. I'm adding some adhesive, spray adhesive on the back, but honestly, I don't think I needed it because when I say the stickiness of the back of this mat was like disjointing my finger from my hand, I kid you not, it was ridiculous. Like, it almost pulled my goddamn acrylic off, and I'm not kidding, but um. I added the spray adhesive just in case, and that's pretty much the flooring section of this video. Um, the battery was dying at this point, so it's going to stop in halfway through the floor, but of course I finished it, and as you can see, there's a bunch of paint on the floor. I did not care to put no blanket or nothing down because I knew the floor was going to be covered anyway, so if the spray paint gets on it, so what? I had a plan. It worked out just fine. You see the floor is lifting up a bit. I think it's just because of the way I'm peeling the paper off the back. But once it relaxed, I would say overnight, it laid perfectly flat. This is the trim that she already had in her bathroom. Um, I just painted it white and pretty much put it right back where it was. Like I didn't have to even really hammer it in. I just kind of slid it right where it was and added like one extra nail just to make sure it was secure. I started this video looking like Jill Scott's um, The Way and I'm ending it looking like Erica Baju Bag Lady. I'm so sorry um, for my appearance, but the struggle was real, okay? Um, finishing up that trim, putting all those handles back on. Of course, I spray painted those silver, just like the light fixture, just like the uh, doorknob handle, because the sink and toilet and kit, uh, bathroom was already silver, so that just made sense. And then, of course, all the wood in the room is chocolate. So we have our chocolate peanut butter and pistachio. See what I did there? Putting those fixtures back on that I had to paint seven times thanks to all the sanding. I didn't hang the mirror because I thought it looked better standing up, but that's a personal preference. Um, this is the bathroom set that she picked out. Even though she wasn't supposed to know the colors, she kind of knew them because she paid for the paint. And so just putting, setting everything up at this point, trying to get that paint smell out. So I got a little candle warmer there. And y'all, this is the before. We see that it was well damaged, but we got her right on together. Is she perfect? Probably not, but she looks fantastic. I would love to go to the bathroom in there, wouldn't you? Um, so yeah, these are all the befores, as you've already seen. And this is my aunt's last time seeing it before um, the final reveal. This is before I sand it. And she also wants y'all to take note in her glow up that happened with the bathroom, which is with her actual reaction here. Everybody say hi, Aunt True. Thank you, guys, and you're welcome.